Okay guys, I wanna try to get a video here. It's 15 degrees out here. And so it's cold and my battery doesn't like to work when it's cold. So what we have here is Athena, who is a two and a half year old Anatolian Shepherd Dog female. And, um, and uh, so what we're doing today, she's only been here, this is day three, I believe. So we're getting her used to working with some of our sheep. We have some Katahdin here, sheep in here. And she has seen sheep before, but wasn't real successful with them in the past. So it's nice when you get a dog at any age to know any weaknesses and any faults they may have because then you're prepared for it. So she has a history of doing some chasing. So like I said, good to know ahead of time, then you can try to address it and you're more ready for it. So anytime we have a new dog, we take baby steps because it's a lot easier to go slow and go into something right as opposed to jump into something and have something bad happen and then try to correct it afterwards. So right now she's just walking the per perimeter, sniffing what's been going on, who's been here before, fun stuff like that. And the sheep, you can tell, recognize that she's new and they're very cautious. They're like, hmm, we don't know who this is. We're not sure if this is okay or not. Because eventually your livestock get to know the dog and vice versa and there's a mutual trust that happens and respect. But right now she's just more interested in this, which is great. So the last thing you want to do, even if you have a dog that you're getting, let's say you're getting an adult dog and you're told that it's, you know, 100% trained to everything. Oh, we're going to go check her out. You don't want to just take your dog and toss it out with whatever your livestock is because the livestock doesn't know your dog and your dog doesn't know your livestock. So your dog needs to know that the livestock are yours, that you value that livestock and that it's important to you. And that really helps quite a bit. That's how they can differentiate between this is something that should be here and, and what is something that shouldn't be there. And um, like I said, the sheep are, are cautious of her and naturally cautious as they should be. So, oh, she found a, she found a snack. So, I mean, this is great. She's acting perfectly. Sometimes if you have a younger dog, they'll act hyper and they want to play. And that's super, super normal too. So this is the way that we would then start out. Um, we're just on a tether like this, but we're always attached to the tether. We don't tie and leave out. That's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day, but tethering inside of a pen inside the livestock first of all it's a safety issue because let's say we had her on a long line I mean then you're gonna have the sheep that can get tangled up in it and that would be just a nightmare so you don't want that plus if they're just out of reach for instance then you're just breeding frustration and anger and you don't want that either so we do not advocate for tethering at all and they're leaving that's perfect. And they know it's supper time, so they're like, what the heck, man? We'd like to eat. But she's doing great, obviously. She doesn't even care. So the next step would be um, once she's comfortable, which obviously she is right now, would be taking her off the tether and but still staying in a really close proximity. So like if I'm out doing chores or something, I would let her out. Um, in a close proximity so that I can have my eyes on her all the time. So that if something needs to be corrected, it's swift. You know, it's not with dogs. You can't be like, wait till your father gets home because that's just ridiculous. Um, correction needs to be swift. So they know what you're talking about. We have puppies squeaking and squawking in the background. Hi, babies. Is that a new pup? Yes, sir. Hi, bud. Love our Katahdin sheep. Absolutely love them. Fantastic. Hi. 
What you think, mamas? Yeah, you got a new friend. Yes. And she's very nice. Athena, you are doing so good. So again, eventually she'll get curious. Eventually, you know, she found she found some raw, frozen raw in here, so she wants to do that right now. And that's another great thing is having something, some type, some type of a deterrent to keep them busy. We feed partially raw, so frozen raw stuff keeps them busy and out of trouble. Otherwise, Kongs filled with stuff, anything just to keep their minds going and off of doing sassy things if that's what they're prone to doing. So, yeah. So if it gets to the point, and I'm sure it will because she had problems at her last home, so it's not gonna be like magically everything's gonna be cured here. Um, if, they, if they start doing something they shouldn't do, in her case, if she were to start chasing, as soon as they start to show body language of being too interested, um, back on the tether she would go, and it's just a slow process. Um, it goes, you go through the same thing when they're adolescent, you know, six months, eight months, a year old. So it's just, you know, and it's a fluid thing. It's a step back, a step forward and maybe a step back and then a few steps forward and maybe a step back, but it's a constant, you know, it's just a constant moving thing a and eventually, what? Is a it is definitely a process. And one day you'll realize, hey, I haven't had to correct so-and-so in a week or two weeks or whatever. And then eventually you're like, wow, this is wonderful. But it's hey, patience, patience and consistency. And it, it'll, it'll be good. So we're just going to kind of document here how this goes with her. But she's been great now. She's not over excited about them or over interested. Obviously, she's comfortable to be out here with them. So... Right now, she's just more interested. I mean, she did her perimeter walk like she's supposed to. Anytime yep. they answered a, a fast, they're supposed to do the perimeter. She did that all on her own. No, no guidance needed. No directions needed. Yep. And she found this, and she's happy as a clown. So, yep. and you'll right now. Especially when they get in a new pasture or new area. But even if they've been in a place that they're used to, Several times a day, they'll kind of do the walk, the perimeter walk, yep. and they'll poop and they'll pee. Yep. And that's just their way um, of telling predators, this is my space, though the predators will smell it and stay away. So that's just all instinctive that they know to do that. And she did that right away. So she's doing great. And then over here, <laughs> just hold on, buddy. Just wait. Hey, just wait. I got another little boy out. So everybody's working. Everybody's working. So we'll just keep this process going and, and we'll check in and do continuing um, footage and updates and just kind of show you how she's doing. We'll show her trip ups and we'll show her successes and like I said, it's a process. It's not an overnight thing. Even if you get a dog and you're told it's 100%, you know, trained into everything, that dog still needs to meet your livestock. Let them sniff the livestock all over the place and um, let them meet each other appropriately. Very, very important. Ooh, we think it out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Carmel's like looking at her like, hmm, oh no, you're new. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll come back at you soon with an update. Thanks, guys.